Hi everyone! Welcome back! It's Wednesday morning and I'm back from Florida. Yesterday I post video and share with you guys how I handle everything over there. And thank you so much for all your comments. I still haven't got a chance to reply to your comments. But it was such an uplifting, it was such a positive comment. So thank you so much for all that comments. Yes, definitely guys, it was not the easy process. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to share with you guys how I handle everything. For God bid, if you ever had to go through that kind of process, maybe my video can helpful to you because it was not just that what i show you guys it was not just that part there was so many things were involved in that so leave the comments below and let me know so i came back from florida saturday night and sunday morning my husband is like let's go to mall and usually kids are with us but that day they have so much homework so they say we don't want to go with you guys so we both went I did not have any plan to buy anything and uh, we were basically just walking casually and there was a Sephora and across from Sephora there was a Apple store so I told him that I'm going to Sephora he's like okay I'm gonna go to Apple and meet me there when you are done and I was like okay so after a few minutes I went to Apple and he was talking to the sales lady and uh, he was standing next to the iPhone so he casually asked me, he's like, which color do you like? And I just say, I like black one. So then he told that lady that we want to buy this one, pack it. And I'm just looking at him and it's like, who are you buying for? And he's like, I'm buying this for you. And I was like, why? Because I had 7 Plus, iPhone 7 Plus. I've been using that phone from last more than a year. I never had any problem with it. And I never even mentioned to him that I want to upgrade my phone. But then he's like, I'm getting this for you. And I was like, why? But he's like, I don't know. He's like, he, he just wanted to buy. Obviously, I'm not gonna argue with it, right? So he bought iPhone 8 Plus for me. And um, just a week before the company called Lux and Dairy, they contact me. They send me their iPhone cases and I've been using that cases. Uh, my, I share that with my uh, son also because he also has a 7 plus and now I got the 8 plus so I can use that uh, same case because it's the same size. Uh, definitely guys, they are also offering 15% off if you buy anything. Um, they have so many different varieties their design is like 3d design they are really good and the quality is really great so i'm gonna have the code down here it's ami um so at the checkout just use that code you will get the 15 percent off so thank you Luxendary, for sending me all these really good cases and guys do try it it's really nice so the reason I'm sitting in the car is because I'm at the Ross. I want to go and buy the screen protector because I got the case for the phone. But I still want to make sure my screen is covered. So let's go inside. Let's see what they have. Because now the spring and summer is here. Not the summer, but obviously spring is here. So they have really good stuff for the gardens. And, you know, I, it's been a quite a some time since I came here. So let's go inside. Let's see what they have. summer shoes right now but uh, this one actually caught my eyes it is so lightweight and uh, it's $15.99 it's really nice and comfortable actually guys I really like this So 
sometimes at the Ross you can find really good bags and uh, this one actually caught my eyes as you can see it's uh, not too big not too small i mean if you are going somewhere for a day or so you can have your couple of days worth of clothes in here and the material is like you can just wipe it clean i really like it and uh, let me see how much is it it's 27.99 so 28 dollar I like this purse um, first thing is it's neutral goes with everything uh, it has a pocket here so you can just put your cell phone there uh, but the only thing I didn't like is because this part is open I like the one that has a zipper in the middle so once you put all the stuff in there it's kind of secure but it has this pocket in the middle that has a zipper also has a zipper there um, so it's not too bad it's nice and small it's really cute and uh it is 24.99 uh wow no there's i thought there's a pocket back here but it's not How cute this ball is it's not the glass it seemed like it's a melima um, and uh, it is $6.99 really like this I like this one also I really like this one uh, if you have like an outdoor patio you can put this there um, obviously I don't have anywhere to put this but I really like this so this is where I got my tea kettle as you can see this one is the same as mine they do have the red one as well as this is just uh, plain um, this were $12 yes it's $12 and uh, they do have this it's different shape i really like this one uh, this one is also twelve dollar So this is the pink Himalayan salt. Uh, I usually use it in my cooking. I don't use the regular salt anymore now. I always use the pink Himalayan salt. So now I'm at the Wegmans to do a little bit of grocery shopping. For fruits as well as the milk, I always like to come here instead of going somewhere else because the fruits is so fresh and somehow the atmosphere here in the store is so lively all the employees are very nice i mean if you have any question if they are out of something if you don't see it there you can ask them and they can get it if they have it in the back and they are really helpful so i don't mind paying a little bit more uh, but that's you know i like that customer service and uh, i'm gonna show you the pizza crust which i always buy so this is it this one is the regular one and the one that i always buy is this one this is the thin pizza crust 
you can make the best pizza out of this and i will share the recipe with you guys also i always buy this salad these are the bistro one i'm sure you can find it anywhere the one that i like the most is this cranberry walnut one and these are the hummus varieties they have tons of flavors here but the most that i like is this one it is called it is from the restaurant in dc it is called perfect pita their hummus is so good again it comes in a different flavor and my favorite one is the jalapeno one so i'm back from ross and i went to wegmans to get some groceries so i'll show you guys what i got so these are the things i got it from wegmans uh, there was not much that i needed um just a few things so i got the milk i always get the two percent milk these are the english cucumbers so that means that doesn't have any seeds in them um so whenever i make uh, like a cucumber raita or salad i always use this one got some blueberries also do you have the avocado small apples for kids so they can take it to school it's a perfect size as well as i do have some garbanzo beans that is the chickpeas uh, the pasta sauce is there salad as well as the sliced cheese and the shredded cheese because i will be making the uh, pizza for the kids um, so these are the crust i will be using as well as i got this salad i love this one um, it comes in many different flavors but i always get this one um, for the burger, I always use this Morning Star one. They do have this Mediterranean chickpeas, and this one was the tomato basil pizza burger. This too, I never tried it before, um, so I was like, let me see how it is gonna be. So that's what I got. And also for um, the sandwich, when I make it with the burger, I bought this one. This is the sandwich thin. It's a hundred percent whole wheat. Um, again, this is the first time I bought it. Not sure whether kids will like it or not, so I'll let you guys know. But it seems like it's really healthy. Um, this brand Arnold, it's really good brand. So, but let me see how it's gonna be. So this is it. That's what I got from Wegmans. It's only two o'clock in the afternoon, so um, I'll just go ahead and take care of this, and uh, maybe dinner. I'll start around three o'clock or four. As you can see, it's almost five o'clock, and now I'm starting dinner. Instead of start making dinner at four o'clock, the reason is because my husband came home early, so we were just sitting and talking, and. For dinner tonight, I'm making curry pakoda rice as well as the roti. If you are a big fan of curry pakoda just like me, then I would highly suggest that do try this recipe. I do have a separate video for this, which I'm going to link it down below in the description box. But I have tried many Indian restaurants and somehow I like my curry pakoda much better than there. So I would highly suggest guys that do try this recipe. I have actually heard that in Delhi, you guys have a really good restaurant who have authentic North Indian food. So if you are watching this vlog from Delhi, please leave the comments below. Give me your suggestion. Let me know because next time I would love to come to Delhi. And I'm foodie. As you guys know, I love different food and especially the street food, spicy food. So this is it friends my dinner is ready as you can see kadi pakoda rice as well as uh, roti is done and sometime you know simple food is the best food and um, this is it uh, my dinner is ready thank you so much for watching this video if you made it this far please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and do get the phone case for your phone. You do get the 15% off on your purchase. So make sure you take the advantage of that. Thank you so much again for watching. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.